everyone, good morning and welcome back to another video today. I am in Delhi, India for the first time. I am so excited, but I start my video with bad news. So Luke and I are here at the Red Fort. Look at all the army men and police officers kind of guarding this place. It is completely closed. You can see the beautiful building in the background, but we'll have to come back another day. So we're starting at a monument I can't get any closer to, but it's gonna be an amazing day. We're gonna do a lot of other things and what are we gonna do now? Yeah, I don't know. This don't is the know. plan. Maybe this was the plan. But maybe we'll go to a market, maybe catch a metro. Who knows? Come along for the ride. Welcome to Delhi. Everyone has been so nice so far. And I'm just really excited to explore this beautiful country of India. Let's get into it. Thanks for joining. We are crossing the crazy road and we learned that following the locals is the safe way to do it. Okay. What is this called? This is our red fort. Whoa, red, red temple. Red temple, yeah. okay. And what religion is in here? Red temple is for what religion? For the, for the. Bo Buddha. 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 Buddhist. Buddhist. Thank you so much for your help. Oh, I'm so Buddha. glad that we had some locals to help us crash that, uh, cross that uh, busy street because we did witness a um, scooter crash, which Man, this first is time I've seen a crash, oh, but we've got oh, the Red South. Temple, oh, busy street. Oh, it is so beautiful. Look at these. Oh, they make it. So I think they are offering balls. The flowers yeah, in the thing. temple is inside a very, very looking, very cultures and the gods. Yes. Very nice temple. Very nice. Yeah, it very looks nice. beautiful. And who is this? She is Ganj Gurdwara. She is sorry? She is Ganj Gurdwara. Ganj Gurdwara. Ha, yeah. Gurdwara is the Sikh. See the oh, golden thing? That's the like golden, a Sikh, yes. Sikh temple. Yes, yes. Okay. Can you talk Jai Shri Ram? Jai Shri Ram. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> is this a Ram god? Oh, wow, look at all that. Do you want to go into the market? Yeah, I need a new hat. This is yeah. a silver market. This is silver market. Chandi Chok, silver market. Chandi Chok, silver market. Yes. Beautiful. This, this is a not retail retail market. No retail. This is a wholesale market. Okay, bye, man. Yeah. Bye. See bye, see you. Yeah. See you. Nice to meet you. Okay, you want to go over there? Oh, there's even markets through there as well. Look at that eagle. Some bags, jumpers, little baby clothes, <gasps> purses. I actually do need another bag because my one I bought in Thailand has actually snapped off. I've ha I have a carabiner because this thing snapped off and I also have a little keychain keeping this bag together. It broke, these bags look beautiful. So maybe I will check out a purse, a replacement purse, because that is actually something I'm in the market for. Which one do we like? I quite like that blue one. This is a Michael Kors ripoff from Mamitel. There's so many options, I don't really know what to get, but I do need one, so. I will try and replicate this one that I have already because it is very good. Hello, this is your shop. How much? Three fifty. Three fifty. Okay, three fifty. That's pretty good. It's just finding a style that I think will be compatible to my traveling. That is too hard. Maybe something like this will be perfect. I think I'll just get this. Or this one. It's the most similar to what I have already. Gosh. And I don't really want to spend 400 years on them. These ones are cute, but I think they're going to be a little bit too thin, too small, cute, too unicorn and fluffy. Yeah, I think I'm going to just... Do I want a Michael Kors fake? No, I want this one. Could I get this one, please? Is 350 this one? Okay, this one, please. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, purse acquired. That guy wasn't a very chatty guy. Um, 350, which I feel like is, is pretty decent for a bag. There is literally another bag store right next door, but I'm happy with my purchase. I'm not a huge fan of the straps, so maybe I'll 
upgrade it in future videos, but at least I have a working purse again, which I'm very excited about. Let's keep going and I think Luke's gonna do a bit of shopping for himself and then I'll let you know where we go to next. Look how many bikes there are. Oh my gosh. There is so, so much clothing here uh, and little of much else, which is surprising. I was expecting there to be like, it's very female catered. I find this street, like a lot of dresses, a lot of jewelry, a little bit of food speckled everywhere. But um, yeah, I'm quite shocked. Wow. Look how beautiful these skirts are. It is milk foam. Yeah, milk foam. Wow. So how do you make? How do, so it is just like you churn yeah, yeah, yeah. and then make it fluffy. And this whole thing is just like this the is the fluffier. saffron part. Saffron? Yeah. It's also uh, koya. Koya? Milk foam. Milk. Uh, yeah. Condensed milk. That's condensed milk. Yeah. I've never seen it in like kind of. It looks like cookie crumbs. Yeah. Okay, I will try. How much is one piece? Uh, one plate. Eighty rupees. Eighty. Uh, 100 rupees. And what is that stuff? That is sugar? Yes. Yeah, that is sugar over there. Wow. Yeah, beautiful. I like that he has this oh, look, little finer over there. Ooh. Wow. Wow. So what is that herbs uh, and spices? Pistachio. Pistachio. Oh, delicious. So is this more of a dessert here in India? This is a dessert? Yeah. yeah. And it is sweet? Yeah. Okay. Indian called Dolat Kicha. Indian called Dolat Kicha. Dolat Kicha. Dolat Kicha. Is it famous in Lucknow? Ah, yeah. Lucknow, famous. Lucknow can food bananas. Yeah. Different, different name. Different name, different name. Wow. Okay. So here it is. This is all milk foam, fluffy. You've got a little bit of that condensed milk, which I've never seen in like a dry powdery kind of thing. All right, let's get a bit of everything in there. Cheers. Hopefully I don't get sick. Here we go. Mm. It has the texture of like whipped cream. It's really yeah. delicious. Yum, very good, very good. Yeah, thank you. Mm. I love the texture of this. This is like absolutely delicious. Smile. <laughs> Yum, so creamy. I love the crunchy bits. It's super sweet. If you've had whipped cream before, it's that sprinkle a bit of condensed milk on and you've almost got like the texture and flavor of it. Really pleasant. I'm glad I stopped. Very good. And this is 80 rupees. Yeah, 80. Your which country? Uh, Australia. Australia. This uh, one. Oh, that is yours. And could I see without the thing, just show the whole thing, one thing? Yeah, beautiful. You can keep change, it is okay. You keep. It is okay, you keep. You keep. You keep, it's okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll take it. <laughs> you, want, you want tip, tip? <laughs> uh, this one. And then this way. Yeah, keeping the fire. Wow, do you make this at home? You make before you come out. Wow. It looks amazing. Thank you so much. So I've never had that before that no one would take a tip. Um, but really nice guy, really nice food. And first time I've tried it, hopefully my stomach stays strong and 
it was just a delicious dessert and I don't deal with the repercussions later because street food here is very hit or miss depending on the hygiene and hopefully I can trust that guy and I'm good in six hours. Okay everyone, so we are currently on one of those bicycles that you can see up there going to the Mana Maja Jaman. <laughs> the Jaman Maja. <laughs> Jaman Maja Mosque. Uh, which Luke needs pants for, so we'll go to the market. But this guy is putting his whole life into pushing both our lazy asses all the way to the mosque. Um, but this is super cool. Just a bicycle, like, exactly like these people. They've been everywhere and it's a very smooth ride. It's, it's quite enjoyable. This is 80 rupee. Um, we got one of the local guys to help us book one on Luke's channel. I hate the beeping. It makes sense. Uh, it's just like what they do on the roads here, but just being around it all the time is a little bit red hot and overwhelming. All people cooking, you've got the rug. Rugs and blankets everywhere. Look how many people there are on the street. We are almost at the mosque. Little dolls. Look how weird they look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow, there it is. Wow. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yes. It looks a little bit like the Red Temple. This place. Yeah, here's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at all these maps. Perfect. Alright, Donyvad by Donyvad. At the mosque, it is prayer time at the moment. So we're just kind of sitting back for five minutes. Luke is trying to find some long pants so he can get in. Look at them all praying up there. I guess we can walk along and see. Yeah. What else? So the favorite thing um, of my day has happened. Uh, Luke has found pants. All of the pants at the other stores were too small for him. And he finally found a stained pair of chuckies that would fit him. And this is his outfit. <laughs> it looks they good. So it's, it's not even that bad, I don't think. They're long enough, which is nice, but it's just like giving off much, very much skinny jean energy, um, which is just so funny. So he's got his shorts on underneath. Oh my gosh, there's a stain at the back as well. Yeah, on the butt. I think he paid like 200 or 250. He wouldn't even give him a discount with all the stains on them, but what can you do? So now we can both enter the mosque because they're dressed appropriately. And prayer time is just finished, which is perfect. So we're not interrupting anything. Head up the stairs, we'll go check it out. Yeah, maybe we go around this side. Yeah, seems less busy. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my gosh, look at them all running down. I wonder what has happened. I hope everyone is going to be okay. Because it seems like a stampede of people are rushing out to see something or something's happened. So I don't know if that's normal or. Or what's going on? But look at all these men running after something going on. Uh, 
we can roam around. Am I allowed in without a head covering? I don't know, honestly. Because we thought about um, your requirements. See, I have seen like there are a few girls that their hair is there and I'm yeah, covered. covered. I'm completely covered, but I'm not sure. It is so beautiful though. Yeah. Everyone was just up here facing the same direction for prayer. Mm. And you can see they all have their shoe pit where I think most people are placing their shoes. We're going to go offload our shoes and then head in. I wonder how much it is to collect. Alright, so we're up there. Okay. Remember the spot. Yes. Thank you. I think we have to, have to take socks off. Socks off as well? Yeah. We've got a ticket. Wow. This place is packed. Beautiful, right? This is amazing. So this place, as well as the stairs, would have just been packed with people in the yeah, prayer just been, then. Like, that's why they would have been outside. So too many people in here. Especially for Friday prayer. Like Friday is the most holy day for Muslims. Wow. And that's today. Yeah. Oh, we're hey, look, Jama. Hey, brother. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Fine. Wa alaikum as salam. This place is just gorgeous and everyone has just finished wow. their prayer and they disperse so quickly I didn't even hear anything like any like sound or anything. they just knew yeah beautiful look at the whole courtyard open up yeah. they all stand in such a straight line yeah. as well it is amazing very orderly I thought there must have been a fence or something but it was just people wow This place is truly just outstanding. Look So many photos. Yes, okay. Oh my gosh. I have high feelings. That was so much. Um, can we walk towards the water? Yeah, yeah. Over here. We ought to keep moving. Yes. I can't but I think they, it's just because I had a camera, they have no idea who I am. Um, and because I'm with you, who people made a big deal out. So what did he say this water was? Uh, I think it's to clean, clean off your hands and your feet. Wow. This place is so beautiful. People washing their hands and feet. All right, time to head off. Time to get our shoes. So the 300 rupee entrance fee, and let's head out. <laughs> Sarah, Hello. my shoes. Bye. They are busy. Oh, he knows. He knows. Oh, brilliant. Little rupees. Kidna? Yeah. 100 rupees. So 50 rupees each to hold our shoes. Can we sit on the stairs to put them on? Okay, we're going to sit down and put our shoes back on. What an absolutely incredible experience that was. I always love visiting temples, mosques and everything and just seeing how people worship their, their gods. It is truly amazing and that is one of my favourite parts of travel so far. So we are heading out now and I think 
I'm gonna wrap up today's video here. We've done a lot of exploring in Delhi so far. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully we'll visit the Red Fort in the next video. Riley, 